This is the captain. We'd like to welcome you on board. Regal Princess is one of the largest luxury cruise ships in the world. Basically, we have everything a small town has and, uh, and a population to go with it. A crew of 1,400 live and work on board for up to nine months at a time. Normally, when you're on the toilet on the other ships, you've got one leg in the, in the shower. <laughs> From new recruits... I was scared. I was like, oh, my God, am I going to like it? ..to senior officers. Dusty, if I don't like something, I will tell them straight in the face. This is the story of life at sea. Get up, you're going to have so much fun. Tonight, it's turnaround day, and picky hotel manager Dirk turns detective. Under the bed, no surprises? No. No? <laughs> uh, a hair, from a long blonde hair. New dancer Dulcie is missing home. Being away from him for so long kills you a little bit inside. And while some passengers enjoy the finer things in life... We're behind the curtain and you're not. <laughs> for others, it's back to basics with no luggage and Herbert's in hot water. If I don't have the bags tomorrow, maybe I will start getting nightmares. Regal Princess is heading back to Denmark after an 11-day cruise around the Baltic. It's an early start for Captain Perrin. 2.20 that was the uh, wake-up call this morning. When you get up and then you can actually see it, it makes life a bit more bearable. Arrival in Copenhagen for turnaround day signals the busiest time for the crew. The entire ship will get a full makeover before new guests arrive in just a few hours. We're having about 10,000 pieces of luggage getting off the ship this morning while we say farewell to our guest. Hotel general manager Dirk is on the prowl, which is an added pressure for the crew. Have a couple of hours to clean the entire ship and then embark Another 3,300 guests, and so it's extremely busy. It's very testing. Dirk is from Berlin and has worked on ships for 17 years. He's famous for his meticulous inspections. I encourage the team to, you know, lead by example, to fetch it and to make sure the ship looks spotless. If they see the boss is picking something up from the floor, the crew will hopefully follow, you know? They know I'm very picky. Uh, probably the German reputation, I would be afraid. <laughs> Dirk's attention to detail keeps everyone on their toes. Oh, oh, oh. Dusty. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit dusty. And if you guys can keep an eye on it, please. Yeah, yeah. Nice, huh? Thank you. Yeah, Dirk is the only German on board. Um, and that's just how we like it, actually. Uh. <laughs> In housekeeping, a small army have just two hours to clean, polish and vacuum everything in sight. Down in the laundry, 20,000 sheets and towels must be washed and pressed before the new passengers arrive. How are you, gentlemen? All good? Right. Busy, busy. Yes. Cabin supervisor Michelle from the Philippines must do her bit to ensure all 1,800 passenger rooms are ready on time. My role is to make sure the highest level of cleanliness in every cabin. This below should be in the bed, Andrew. Okay. This one should be in the bed, all right. With the clock ticking, Michelle's focus is getting the cabins finished down to the tiniest detail. Andrew, the lines should be always together, all right? For me, it's a very stressful. He's not gonna be ready for one hour, so I need to get one guy to give him my help. Don't panic, okay? Everything is gonna be okay, all right? It is not just housekeeping that needs to be ready. Five, six, seven. Backstage in the theatre, rehearsals are underway for a brand new show. It started with my first ship, Patricia was her name. But new girl Dulcie's team are a man down. One of the male dancers has suddenly left the ship, forcing them to restage the routine. Four and five, six and seven. One more time. Five, six, seven. Eight. A boy just got up and left the other day. He was a really good friend of mine. I was just sad that he's gone. He was just missing his life that he used to have. I don't think a lot of people realise how hard it is 
Dan's captain, Eleanor, will have to keep a close eye on Dulcie as she adapts to life at sea. Anyone new to, to ships, it, it can be quite a difficult adjustment. And the changes in the routine are also proving to be a challenge for Dulcie. This will be our first time that we perform it. Doing that made me realise how many little different things I was doing wrong. <laughs> As the passengers start arriving on board, their first port of call is Timothy on the front desk. Do you want this bit? This is probably the busiest embarkation day that I've ever seen. Look at the long line. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. Timothy's counting down the days until he starts his new job with the excursions team. But right now, there's trouble brewing. Lost luggage. We're going to do everything on your behalf, basically. So we're going to contact the airline, find out where it's at, and we'll send it to the next port that we're in. Mother and son, Reba and John Lockhart, have flown in from America. I went to Philadelphia, from there to London, and from there to Copenhagen. They told me my luggage would go straight through, but it didn't. And uh, I've been in these three days. <laughs> Do you have the bag tag number with you? There's a lipstick print. I know. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you get one of those? Um, lipstick prints? Yeah. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but the Lockharts aren't alone in having no clothes. And Timothy's supervisor, Herbert, from Mumbai, is getting it in the neck. So you checked in a total of four bags, but three went missing, right? Right. Right now, I will follow up on your luggage and have it delivered to the ship. When you're spending $10,000 yes. and you're staying in your room because you have no clothes, it doesn't give you that great experience. Right. When an airline loses luggage, getting it to the ship isn't simple. It's a moving target. Herbert spends hours each day chasing cases. I'm really sorry. As you know, we are trying our best. At this point in time, uh, I do have about uh, eight missing luggage reports. And uh, the day isn't over yet. I will take care of the snow worries, yeah? Herbert has been quite successful. I think his recovery percentage is probably like 97 percentile or something like that. <laughs> He's really good. But with more and more bags reported missing, Herbert has his work cut out. With the last supplies being loaded, the crew is working overtime to get everything shipshape. Over in housekeeping, the cabin staff are making a final push before one of Dirk's infamous inspections. Oh my God, need to clean everything as fast as you can. Even Michelle pitches in to get everything in place. So since everybody is busy, we are the ones doing it, the supervisor. The pressure is starting to show. Hi! But time is up. Michelle's boss, Dirk, is here to check that not even a hair is out of place. Man, these magnets are strong. It's like a workout, Michelle. <laughs> huh? are they all very picky, very, very picky. We like the attention to the detail, and uh, it's good for the team as well to know that I and the management team checks this. Otherwise, some people might do some shortcuts, you know, and we don't want that. Under the bed, no surprises? No. No? <laughs> A hair, found a long blonde hair. Misha, what are you going to do with that hair? Where can I show it? Just give it to me. I, I, I got to give you a better present next <laughs> With the cabins now signed off by Dirk, it's all aboard for the final wave of passengers, and Captain Perrin is ready to leave. Have we got permission to sail? But as they start to pull up the gangway, the ground staff discover a problem. No other passengers checking in right now. Copy this. Two passengers have failed to turn up, and the ship has a tight schedule to keep to. Captain Perrin must decide whether to delay departure or leave them behind. Would you turn up at an airport two minutes before the plane pushes back? Any delay costs money. More fuel will be needed to go faster to get to the next port on time. The bill could be thousands of pounds. 
Okay, copy. We'll wait till 1800 and then we'll go. At the last moment, they spot something from the bridge. We got a taxi there. There's a taxi shooting in. Captain just said he can see a taxi from the bridge. On the phone with um, Mrs. Cleveland. Um, she is in a taxi that just came. The final two passengers have made it back in the nick of time. Two minutes to go. Very lucky. Hi. <laughs> when they come out, when they walk into the gangway, I'll give a little, little honk on the horn. <laughs> Okay, as soon as everyone's on, bring in the gangway, please, stop. Yes, sir. While all the passengers may now be accounted for, their luggage is another matter. I have no idea where these bags are. The bag is possibly in China or in Japan. It's all my problem now. Are you going to put me on hold again? During the cruise, Regal Princess will visit seven different countries around the Baltic Sea. While the passengers head ashore to explore, hotel manager Dirk gets down to his daily regime. A little bit like military training, I don't know. Try to have a little bit of discipline. All the good food on the cruise ship, you have to work it off somehow. When I was 19 or 20, we had uh, mandatory military service, so I was for one year the Air Force, actually. Yeah. And I liked it a lot. It was very good. I was uh, thinking to stay longer, but I decided against and go back to hotels, and I'm very happy I did it. But with a big day-to-day -day operation like this, it is important to have rules. It is important to have some discipline. It is important to have things in order. If you lead by example, I always hope that the other ones will follow us. One crew member keen to impress his boss is Herbert from the front desk. If you check over here, I want to see myself growing up the ladder and see myself to be the hotel general manager one day. So that's, that's one of my secrets for myself. I have some lost luggage, is that true? But if Herbert wants to earn the extra stripes on his shoulder, he'll first have to find the passengers' 41 missing bags lost by the airlines. Security just informed me that the luggages are ahead of the pier. With so many bags missing, today's haul is just a drop in the ocean. They are looking for the next available flight to send to Copenhagen. This family from Saudi Arabia have had no luggage for three days and, desperate for clothes, have been forced to hit the shops. Seven pieces! So your bag is in Paris, that's what we have been advised by the airlines. All our luggage. My yes. parents, my, my baby, my wife. I'm really this sorry, is, yeah. we're trying our best to get the bags. Yes. One or two luggage, no problem, but yes. all of them, this is disaster for us. Yes. For someone who, who's missing seven of their baggage, it's like their entire life. If I don't have the bags tomorrow, maybe I will start getting nightmares. The entire 10 or 11 members of their family questioning me, where's my bag, where's my bag? Dressing up is an important part of the cruise experience, and there are several formal occasions on every trip. For those looking for something exclusive, Paying £75 buys you a seat at the chef's Lumiere table. In charge is maitre d' Silvio. Cutlery is uh, 18 karat solid gold. The actual table is in ebony. This is a beautiful petal. Uh, the, the cost of just uh, this composition is uh, half a million dollars, just this. To get a return on the investment, Silvio has done a hard sell on four foodies from North America. We've heard that it has to do with a curtain with the of curtain, light. The light curtain so. that, is, that surrounds the table. He says, forget everything you've uh -huh. done before, because right. this is going to be yeah. this much is, better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, told us. you said it. I'm holding you to it. <laughs> <laughs> with expectations high, can Silvio deliver on his promise of a night to remember? Hey guys, give it a big smile. Now look at the camera. Like well, one more for the blinkers. All right, so now we're going to uh, wrap you. The luxury decor cost a cool one million pounds. No expenses spared to make these guests feel a cut above.
look at the other people uh, around the restaurant, which they say, oh my God, what's happening? They get so jealous. Can we go there? No, 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 no. This is a special occasion only. What I really enjoyed was the look on the other passengers' faces. We were sitting there, and then all of a sudden, people are watching, and the curtain starts to close, yes, and we're kind of yes, like, yes, yes. hey, yeah. Yeah. we're it's behind the cool. curtain, and you're not. <laughs> With much of ship life dependent on dressing to impress, a lack of luggage is spoiling the Reedy's holiday. I've had a number of conversations with Herbert probably every day. Our luggage has been in a number of cities that we haven't been. It's always one or two cities behind us. So I have his socks on. Uh, I wear this outfit almost every day. I wash these in the sink, um, uh, along with my couple of pairs of underwear. Even the things that the ship can provide, uh, they called and said that they could help us on formal night. So they could have provided me with a tux, but they have nothing for the ladies. So I, we didn't get to do that either. But Herbert is not giving up. Can we please arrange these bags to be flown on high priority because it's been quite a few days. Okay. While passengers are missing their luggage, Dulcie is starting to miss home. Like many of the crew, she signed up to an eight-month contract at sea. I've got one card that my boyfriend sent me. I miss you every minute of every hour of every day. Lots of love, your Rory Kins. <laughs> Rory's at the moment playing Eddie in Mamma Mia on the West End. We had a massive group of friends that we went to college with. They all went to watch him on his opening night, and so I missed all that. Being away from him for so long actually kills you a little bit inside. For Dulcie to keep her dream job, she must put her homesickness to one side and focus on being ready for her next performance. So you've got your lovely petal where you should be splitting. And one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. Hi, sir. Hi. How are you? Real good. I'll take it. <laughs> Over on the front desk, Timothy is putting a brave face on his own worries. So there's a new guy on the desk, <laughs> right over there. His name is Mikita. He stole my glasses. <laughs> Passengers are actually getting us confused. And they're saying, I spoke to you earlier about such and such. And I'm like, um, no, you didn't. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the other guy. <laughs> He's totally stealing my identity. <laughs> oh, thank you for calling Passenger Services. Timothy speaking. Herbert, however, is in a buoyant mood. He has tracked down the missing bag of mother and son, Reba and John. Hello, Mrs. Lockhart. How are you? Found it, huh? Thank yes. you. Yes. I'm sorry for no, the way no. I'm dressed. <laughs> well, you have all your pretty dresses inside. You're just one of my 41 missing luggages. I still remember. Wait, 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 stop. There's 41. 41. Out of You're kidding. 41. Yes. Wow. I received eight this morning. So you wow, were one so of the you wanna, you're yeah. in the top twenty percent. Yes, right. <laughs> right. You've never been in the top twenty percent on anything before. <laughs> <laughs> so I still have a big number to look after, and oh. that's oh, a you big challenge. Wow. You don't have a happy job, huh? Bye bye. One down, but many more to go. Herbert's mission is far from over. Dulcie is putting everything into her first job as a professional dancer. But living the dream has come at a price. Oh, it breaks my heart to even say it. But yeah, I miss my brother's wedding. As much as it would kill me to not be at the wedding, I'm going to earn money so I can buy him a nice present. <laughs> After all the days of being like, I wish I was on a cruise ship, wish I was seeing the world, wish I was dancing every night. And then it actually came round and I was like, oh my God, am I going to like it? Despite the hardships, 
Dulcie finds her reward in every performance. It's like everyone's so happy. There's nothing better than being on the stage. Seriously. With this voyage nearly at an end, is the end in sight for Herbert's quest for lost luggage? Are you the Santa Claus? Almost. Hi. Okay, so this is the Saudi family, Saudi family. This is the American couple. When I see bags, it just makes me happy and I cannot ask for anything more than lost luggage. With the delivery of missing luggage safely on board, Herbert has a chance to reunite bag and owner in his own unique way. Close your eyes, close your eyes. It's hard to know who is more pleased. Uh, <laughs> You're a hugger, huh? Herbie, so you're... Herbie the hugger. Okay. okay. Thank you so oh, much. Herbert. We've oh. needed this clothes. <laughs> well, I, I need to give you a hug. Okay. When I'm very excited or, you know, I just need a hug, so I just, you know, just get on to it and I couldn't stop myself. Yeah. That's good enough. Mission accomplished. Herbert can relax until turnaround day comes again. Next time, it's awards day and Dirk hunts for employee of the month. I have the very top secret list here in my pocket and let's have a look who has been rewarded. Engineer Scott is missing home. Hang on, you're breaking up. Oh, this is a nightmare, this. And Timothy is cock-a-hoop about his new job on the excursion team. <laughs> it's exciting, right? <laughs>